All right, as promised, here's the correction for the concat, with many thanks to all the help I got. Thank you very much. So what we discovered was you got to do it like this. you got to have the select, then the concat, and then the items you're concatenating. Then you have to define the alias. And then the last step is to say where it's from, so based on film. So in this case, we're going to concatenate the film name. We're going to put a space. And then the year released, we're going to give the column an alias of list of films. And we put this inside single quotes because I've got empty spaces in there. And SQL doesn't like that unless you put it in quotes. And then from films. And when we hit go, you'll see that we've gotten our alias, which is list of films, just like we got up here. And then we got the film name, we got a space, and then we got the year released. Okay, for concat WS, I have to correct myself just a little bit. Um, when you use the WS command now, you have to actually tell what kind of delimiter you want as the first field. So in this case, if I want a white space, I would put a space here. So concat WS basically works really well if you've got a long list of fields that you want to separate with something. So if I wanted to do film name, year released, DVD, film ID, and I wanted all these things together, it'd be kind of a pain, I got that right, to have to go in here and explicitly put a space between each one. see. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting those explicit spaces in there, I'll use the concat, concat WS, tell it to put a space between them. And now when I hit go, when I type the right thing, film, film ID, when I hit go, you'll see that it puts each of those in there and it puts a space between. Now the interesting thing is you could use this to separate them by anything. So I could concat and say I want to use the at sign between each one. And when I hit go, you'll see that it puts an at. And you can take this to any number of levels. It's explicit, so I could put between each one the at and spaces and question marks or whatever. And you'll see that it will put that between each one. All right?